farm in uh, kind of west central North Carolina, about an hour above Charlotte. Uh, me and my parents. Uh, we've got a about 130 cow dairy, and we farm about 3,100 acres of uh, corn, beans, wheat, barley, and a little bit of hay. Uh, everything's pretty much 50-50 on the corn and beans, but we do uh, grow about 1,200 acres of small grain, and it's double crop back to beans. Uh, we've been growing several hundred acres of cover crops, and this year we've uh, up to, to somewhere five to six hundred acres of cover, mostly wheat and barley, uh, slung out behind the uh, combine and have drilled some drilled some wheat and barley cover and we have drilled some uh, radishes and peas for cover. Uh, Dad started no-tilling sometime in the early 90s. Uh, mainly no-tilling corn in the bean stubble, uh, and then no-tilling uh, beans. We weren't growing too many beans then, but uh, and then uh, as the years went on, we've added acreage and we've started growing more crops. Uh, kind of got, not got away from the dairy, but it's it's not a, the dairy is where Dad started with, and it's not, you know, 130 cow dairy compared to row crops. It's not, you know, it's, but we've, uh, uh, we've no-till uh, all of our double crop beans into wheat, wheat and barley stubble uh, or corn stalks, which uh, if we're going to plant uh, single crop beans, we'll just uh, no-till it into cover and, and corn stalks. Our soil has turned from a bright red to a kind of a dark red to a, not black, but it's, it's a lot darker than it used to be. Uh, we can really, really tell a difference on uh, if we rent a new farm or uh, pick up a grass field that, not so much a grass, but a farm that land that has been plowed or deep tilled for, you know, years and years and years. It's it's really turned it turned a different color, different color after, uh, probably it takes probably takes ten years to to really start. Well, it takes a couple years, and after ten years, you can really really start seeing the changes. But uh, it's uh, no till is definitely the way to go where we farm. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so our yields, uh, I got out of high school in 98, uh, didn't go to college, came back here and work, started working for dad. Uh, our corn, corn then, a good yield uh, was one, you know, 110 to 120 on a pretty decent year. Uh, and we've, we but we're no-tilling then and since, we're no-tilling before then, but it's, it's took that long to really start seeing the benefits. Uh, now, you know, a good yield. Uh, you know, last year we had some farms running close to 200 bushels of corn, uh, but we averaged uh, around 150. Uh, but even on our, even two years ago, we were real dry and we were about 130. And the corn, it really took some heat and dry weather uh, that year. It, it seems like it takes, it takes heat and drought better than the no-tilled land does. We don't have much trouble here with residue breaking down. We're far enough south and have warm enough winters that it, it tends to, it don't hang around long. Sometimes it would be nice if it hung around a little longer, but uh, we don't have much trouble with residue. Uh, you know, not, we don't have much trouble with residue going through the planters. Uh, every now and then we'll have trouble uh, when we're after barley or wheat harvest, we'll have too much straw. It can get tough to plant through, but uh, that's kind of good. With it's up there, uh, the straw. But sometimes it's a little tough if it's, you know, if it's not crispy dry. So. Uh, our planters we run to 1770 deer planters for corn. Uh, no row cleaners, no spiked wheels, just uh, no-till coulter and uh, cast iron wheels. It seems to seems to do good. We don't we don't get on any any wetland around here so if you do that it just it gets hard and uh, don't do good so we wait till conditions are perfect and, and uh, try to move on with it and our, as far as beans we drill all our beans uh, they're drilled with uh, Great Plains no-till drills uh, turbo coulter up front uh, nothing nothing fancy <laughs> right. we'll band uh, 
12 to 15 gallons of 11370 and then our one planter's got an infer system this one doesn't this one's just a two by two but uh, on our other one we'll band we'll do the 11370 two by two and then we'll band uh, a couple gallons of uh, some phosphorus and potassium in the row a little bit of sulfur <laughs> 